Good morning to you, Mary. Colin Kaepernick's courage to kneel has now become a symbol of solidarity against police brutality, unity, and racial injustice. I sat down with an NFL player from Aiken, South Carolina, who says he supports the right to protest. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a off the field right now out he's fired it's the words of president donald trump that has been replayed around the country as he speaks out about former nfl player colin kaepernick's decision to kneel in protest during the national anthem and that guy that disrespects our flag he's fired Dakota Watson, an Aiken, South Carolina native and linebacker for the San Francisco 49ers, spoke in support of Kaepernick's decision to kneel. I thought it was something very brave, something that was noble of him, and uh, ultimately it cost him his job. But others would argue that protesting during the national anthem demonstrates a lack of respect for the American flag and those that fought for our freedoms. The way they've been taught and the classes they take, it's an EO class. It's called equal opportunity classes that they take in the military, which basically states that we have the right to be able to stand, to be able to take a knee, our rights to be able to think differently, our rights to be able to stand for something that we want to believe in. Augusta University political science professor Craig Albert says although many disagree with Trump's remarks, as a president, he's also exercising his First Amendment rights. So that's what we have to understand about his rhetoric. At the same time, it's very unusual for a president to speak this way, to, to use foul language and to uh, address it towards a particular group of individuals, towards the NFL players right here, and some denote some type of racial tones towards that as well. That's obviously causing more disunity than it is unity. What we're fighting for is the injustice in America. We're not going against America or any patriotism or anything like that. We just want equality. We want to stand up for the people that necessarily don't have a big platform where they can speak. Albert says in the end, there's a reason behind why Trump chose the NFL as his target. Everything that President Trump does is part of a larger strategy to keep President Trump, President Trump, to keep him in power, to keep his legacy as powerful, and he wants to define the message. As for Colin Kaepernick's message, uh, to me, this is something that has to change, and when there's significant change, and I feel like that flag represents what it's supposed to represent, and this country is representing people the way that it's supposed to, I'll stand. Now, Dakota says the NFL standing in solidarity should not focus on sending a message to President Trump, but to bring awareness to the racial injustice that Kaepernick took a knee for. Now, you can head over to our Facebook page. I've posted exclusive videos from both Dakota and Mr. Albert for you to take a look at and chime in on this discussion. Barkley, back to you.